Hi, I'm here to give you an additional collective reading. Um, the universe compelled me to come on here to give you another reading, so here we are. Um, so let me go ahead and dive into this. So the deck I'm gonna be using, it is gonna be from this individual. They have an Etsy account. They also have an Instagram account as well. I am using the Twin Peaks Tarot deck. This is kind of like a general collective reading. I, for whatever reason, I was compelled to come up on here. Um, you know, I do like feedback, so make sure to, you comment down below if the reading resonates or you found me entertaining for whatever reason. Um, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you hit the like button and the notification button when I drop content. And uh, if you'd like a personal reading in the description box below will be a link to my Instagram account. You can DM me directly if you'd like to book a reading. My pricing is available on my page. And I do post uh, daily tarot, oracle, affirmation readings, and I do live streams on there. My nose is itching. Okay. And here we go. So the bottom of the deck I have, it is the Ten of Coins, which is awesome. This is completion, task well done. You know, this is success. All your hard work that you've been bringing is just finally paid off. And you're starting to see your bounty. Things have been released and purged. There was a time period in your life. I want to say the past six years. It was like there was a dark side of you. Um, or there was like this dark shadow that hung over you. It was just like life was just kept on curb stomping you. Or at least it felt like it. It almost felt like death itself. Some of you may have survived, you know, you almost died, but you escaped death. The universe has its eye on you. It is being like your mind is being split open and there's clarity and abundance is coming your way. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive further deep deeper, deeper, deeper into this reading. Um, let me look over some things real quick because I'm seeing. Okay, so we do have two fives. We have two twos. Okay, this is going to be a very interesting reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. So first, the bottom of the deck, it is the Two of Cups here, followed by the King of Wands and the Justice card. Holy shit, followed by the Six of Swords. You moved the fuck on. You're no longer single. Holy shit balls. You are like really confused. You have a lot of options. This person is choosing you. God damn, okay. Holy shit balls. Okay. You're finding love. There could be a Sagittarius and a Libra. 
falling in love. This could be your knight in shining armor. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Sexuality is fluid. It is like good things come to those who wait. Karmic justice. You're finding your perfect balance. Your better half. This, there's a strong Libra vibe here in this reading. I'm going to go ahead and point it off. There's also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up in this bitch as well. Okay. So this is finally having that true love. For others of you, if you are in a relationship, your relationship is, is deepening. It is uh, getting better. It is improving. It just feels like on cloud nine, it feels like things, it's how it should be between you guys. Um, the relationship may kick off into a bigger direction where like, let's move in together. Um, let's make it Facebook, like let's make it like, like official, like social media official, stuff like that. Um, wedding ring, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. Okay. This person could be an attorney. This person could be a counselor. This person seems stiff, but they're really cool and laid back. Okay. So first, let's go ahead and dive into this. So I've got the two of swords. I've got the five of swords reverse. I've got the knight of cups and the knight of swords reverse okay so of course we got two knights here as well so this is about decision so this could be encountering some old friends as well so this is a strong libra vibe okay strong libra vibe this is about weighing your options having a decision you may not really want to deal with the matter it's kind of having your blinders on if i don't see it then it doesn't exist kind of deal this is weighing your options and choices. You're not really sure. This is a choice. This is about balance and control. This is about whether if you want to jump into love, jump into a relationship. The five of swords reverse. This is like admitting your wrongdoings. Somebody from the past may be coming out and apologizing or trying to make amends. With the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords reverse. Somebody is making an offer of love. Somebody's going to try to get you to communicate with you to take you on a date. Somebody's making an offer. You don't you don't know whether if you want to take this offer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Libra. Uh, you could be dealing with, of course, a Libra as well. I'm also seeing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Seeing a little bit more Scorpio here. But it's like somebody's cutting off. It's like they're no longer observing, stalking, whatever the case may be. Somebody has said some shit, they don't like it. Somebody made a choice. They want to offer a relationship. Like, so somebody's coming back into the picture saying like, I fucked up, I'm sorry. Well, you take my offer, I want you back. And you're like, get the fuck out of my face. I blocked your ass for a reason, right? Right. Um, for some of you, God, my eye and my nose is hella twitching. I think it's just, oh my goodness. Okay, I will deal with this at another time. Okay. Some of you are dealing with a love relationship. This could be a friendship. It could be a family member, a colleague. It was like, you're tired of waiting for this person. This person puts you on the back burner. It was like, you're done with their shit, right? Right. Some of you, this individual could be making an offer. Their offer is true. 
you know, you're afraid to take the offer though. So we got the eight of wands, we got the five of coins, we've got the nine of wands reverse, we've got the six of cups, and we've got the queen of wands, okay. So we do have a strong soulmate connection. Soulmate does not have to be romantic, it could be platonic, friends, family, colleagues, um, this could be a business contract, a soul binding contract. It does not mean that they're in your life forever. They could just be there for a karmic lesson. All right. They're there to serve their purpose. So somebody is offering love and there's a wall up here. You're afraid to jump into it. This person may be scared to go all in. You know, they want to go baby steps. They're just like any time, like you offer love or like, uh, like sealing the deal or whatever, you know, they don't want a label or whatever. They're kind of pulling back. They kind of freak out over it. This is very good though. Strong connection here. Very strong connection with a lot of actions and communication. You know, you're living, it's not an illusion. You're actually living in a moment. You're really seeing things with this individual. There's no, there's no fogginess, you know, it's clear. Their actions mirror their words. Their actions speak, their actions speak louder than their words. What they say, they, they back it up. They're not two-faced, you know, they're not an emotional cripple. They say what they mean and they do it. Five of coins here. This person is insecure. This could be you. This could be somebody else. This is why they may be put, like closed off. There's two fives here. So it is about fulfillment. And like this person's upset because it's like he's throwing a heart and everything. Like you betrayed me. Somebody is just very guarded. Very territorial. This person is kind of a homebody. This person may be used to being alone. Like this person's had their heart broken. It could be by third party situations. They were done with it. The nine of wands here, this is giving up. It's like, fuck it. You're done. You're done trying to fight it. You're done trying to resist this. This could be this individual. This person is holding back, afraid to open up to you. You know, they're afraid to let their defenses down. Their shields are up, you know. And eventually they let those want like they let the wands crumble. You know, they're not going to fight this anymore. They're accepting it with the six of cups and the queen of wands. There is a very strong soulmate connection you have. You're going to be finding your king. See your true love. You're going to be finding your king. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could also be a Libra as well. Strong Libra vibe up in this bitch anyways. Seeing Scorpio here too. Also Earth signs as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There could be an age difference. Somebody's younger, somebody's older. I'm seeing for a little bit somebody likes role playing. I don't know why, but I'm getting that. It's like, spank me, teacher, I've been naughty. It's, I don't know. This person is very self-confident, very self-assured. They're an op entrepreneur. This person may have, um, Mamo, Mamo. He's playing with the stand. Mamo, no. <laughs> that little shit. It's good luck when he interrupts the reading. Okay. This connection is happening for a reason. This person, they inherited money, but they worked their way to get that money, if that makes any sense. 
this person will do whatever it takes to protect themselves and protect the people that they love. This person is very honorable. Their intentions are true and pure. You guys are meeting each other at the right moment. That's a really good reading. A really good reading. Oh my goodness, I'm hella fucking itchy. Okay, moving forward, I'm gonna go ahead and give an additional small reading with the Lemonade deck. Oh shit. And I gotta watch out. Mamo likes eating tarot cards. So yeah, I had that fun adventure like months ago. So let's go ahead and find additional messages that you need to hear. Bottom of the deck, I have house reverse. You're gonna be hearing from a little birdie. Rumor has it, it's gonna be like spreading like wildfire. It's like you're gonna be the talk of the town. Somebody's relocating, somebody's moving out, and not in a good way. It's like that Billy, I, I, can't, I can't even sing the song because then I get copy strike, so I can't do that. Um, Cadillac, clack, 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 clack. You know what I'm talking about, see? So that is, <laughs> I can, that's the closest thing I can do without getting monetized. Okay, so this is gonna be on bad terms, bad blood, okay? So we got fish reverse. For some of you, you are young. Um, you are in high school, you are in, you know, you're kind of like in that college age. You know, some of you may, like, they may be backpacking through Europe, you know, or traveling, or they may be going to uh, move, move out of state, out of another city. And it's like, you feel like you're a small fish in a big pond. And it's like, you've outgrown this place. You want to get the fuck out. Okay. For some, not all. Others of you, this is going to be a forced moved out. And I'll dive deeper into that. It's like you're tired of putting your work into this. It's really all for nothing. It's just like, it's just, you're the only one that's putting the effort and what's the, and you can't, like you can't run a farm by yourself. It takes people to help out. And if there's not a support system there, then you need to bounce, right? So writer with letter. You're gonna be relocating, moving. This is gonna be a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. You're gonna be receiving a letter. For some of you, you're gonna be accepted to a college or a university or maybe some intern or a program. Um, that is gonna require you to pack up your bags and get the fuck out of town, get the fuck out of Dodge. The moving out part is good news, but things end on a sour note because you're dealing with somebody that's unfaithful, unloyal. Somebody that you thought that had your back and they did not. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you your oracle reading. Number one, contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Uh, I know you may not like being alone. Sometimes it can be weird. I enjoy being alone. And it and that could take some time to adapt to that for some. It took time for me, I will say. Um, it is kind of going through like that middle school age. It's very awkward and weird. You're transitioning, going through the changes, very Peter Brady like, sha -na 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 -na, right? So you need to step back and reevaluate because there's a lot of internal shit that you're clearing out and you need to really 
kind of clean up the cobwebs and kind of figure out what is serving you, what isn't, right? So tranquility. Now make time to relax, but be still and enjoy your solitude and indulging in much needed self-care. See, the time right now is that you need to focus on you, have your pretty woman moment, you know, you're gonna get your hair done, your nails did. If you're a dude, it doesn't matter, you freshen the fuck up, you go to a store, you learn how to dress like a goddamn adult, not like some 12 year old kid, right? And no flip flops, stop with this flip flop bullshit. And uh, yeah, you'll be, you know, you're gonna be leveling up. And there's all, you have to take the time to enjoy the little small things and enjoy things that you enjoy doing. Wait, see, this is a very strong preference on right now is that everything in your life right now is on a temporary hold. God, okay. I am shedding all over the place, apparently. Holy crapsicle, okay. So wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Wait, you gotta learn how to be and right except heaven's help you pray for help so get out of the way and let heaven help you so you manifest what the fuck you want to the universe to the flying spaghetti monster doesn't matter what you believe in you just manifest it you release it to the universe and then you step back and you focus on you boo you work on you and that's when all the good shit happens a new dog so the worst is now behind you and a positive new experiences are on the horizon. So bad shit is out of the way. Right now you need to focus on you and you will find your, um, you will find the right partner for you. A good equal, um, somebody that you're not dependent on. You're on an equal level. A king and a queen or a king and a king or a queen and a queen. It doesn't matter, sexuality is fluid. It don't matter. Anyhow, thank you for watching. If this reading resonated at all, please make sure you um, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you like this. Make sure you hit the notification button. Share my video, what the fuck. And uh, if you like personal reading in the description box below is my Instagram account. You can check out my pricing there and DM me if you'd like to book a reading. Thank you and uh, <gasps> nano nano. <laughs>